Our next guest is a, uh, is a funny guy. Uh, and you can see him now. He has a new uh, web series uh, called uh, Fixing Joe uh, on officialcomedy.com. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back uh, stand up comedian Joe Matarese. Joe? <laughs> All right, I'm excited. I'm uh, I'm 45 years old, everybody. Uh, thank you. Not uh, not old, but definitely the beginning of old. Uh, you know you're getting old when you go to an empty bar and you go, I love this place. Yeah. I do some old guy things now, like I play in an over 40 men's softball league. <laughs> this is true. Nine out of 12 guys on my team have injuries, <laughs> but <laughs> none of the injuries are from the game. <laughs> It'd be so pathetic if they tried to broadcast it on television, you know? They'd be like, hey, Steve, I don't know if you heard, Joe Matteris, the left center fielder, is going to be out for about a month and a half, he tore his rotator cuff, putting a pottery barn desk up into his third story attic. <laughs> huh. Pete Shrumsky, the first base, is gonna be out for a while, too. He blew out his ACL stepping over a baby gate at two in the morning. <laughs> Man, I mean, I don't know if this group's gonna make it through that long eight game season. I mean. <laughs> I actually have two kids, too. That kind of kind of aged me, you know? I have a five-year-old. I have a one-year-old. Uh, one kid, way easier. Oh, my God. One kid, all you have to do is drink, like, a couple of beers at dinner, you know? <laughs> and you're like, ah, where is he going? You know? <laughs> ah, he just broke that thing I loved. Two kids, you need medication. You really do. <laughs> That's totally true. Like, I've been on anti-anxiety medication for about uh, a year and a half now, and I, I highly recommend them, seriously. It's the best thing I've ever done with my life. Like, this is how great they are. A couple weeks ago, I get pulled over for going 63 in a 60. Yeah. I look in my rearview mirror, I'm watching the guy write the ticket, and as he's writing it, this came out of my mouth. I'm like, well, you know, I was three over. <laughs> guy's just doing his job, you know? I mean, wonder if he wants to hang out. I don't know, he seems like a good guy. <laughs> Before I was on the medication, I would snap at nothing. Like, like recycling would get me angry. That's not normal, but we're at this time in our lives now where we're cleaning our trash, right? I'm in my kitchen, I'm like, what am I doing? I'm cleaning trash. Like, what do I think? The garbage man's gonna knock on the front door holding a, a, a yogurt container with a blueberry in the bottom? <laughs> it's like, hey, is this your trash? Yeah, it's filthy, it's totally unacceptable. <laughs> You're gonna have to re-rinse that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I grew up in the 80s, okay? I grew up in a time where I miss littering, seriously. Remember littering in the 80s, no guilt whatsoever? It was a time where you could grab a whole bag of McDonald's drive through trash. Full speed, Jersey Turnpike, just like, Whoa! Someone might have honked at you, but it was just to let you know, hey, great throw, buddy. Seriously. <laughs> Help throw. I'm married to a psychologist, which is pretty classic. Uh, my wife told me she diagnosed me with ADD on our first date. But then she didn't tell me I had it until we were married for about, for about four years, right? Because that's how women do things. When you're dating a woman, she thinks all your weird quirks are cute. Yeah. My wife used to be like, oh my God, you don't remember that? It's so funny. I mean, you just never remember anything. <laughs> Same woman, four years later, is like, hey, hey, jackass, you got ADD.
You need to go see a psychiatrist and get some medication because I'm sick and tired of repeating everything that I said. You suck, right? And when your wife makes twice what you make a year, you're like, oh, okay, well, what day is the appointment? So I go to the psychiatrist. I do, I go, I gotta get the ADD test. Gotta be honest, once again, best I ever did on a test. I mean, <laughs> nailed the ADD test. First question, Joe, when you read, do you get tired? I'm like, oh, oh my God, right? I mean, when I read, I feel like I got shot by a blow dart. Joe, when you go to the movies, do you fidget in your seat? <laughs> when I go to the movies, I'm like, I, I look like Ray Charles when he was coming off of heroin. <laughs> Two questions into this guy's test that started to feel so specific to just me. <laughs> it felt like the doctor was going, hey, do you drive a silver Subaru Forester? Do you live in a house that you hate that's near your wife's friends and family and nowhere near anybody that you know? <laughs> Do you play in an over 40 men's softball league? Did you just buy a navy boob blazer for $900 that you plan on returning the day after you do The Late Show with David Letterman? <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Joe Matarice, ladies and gentlemen. Nice blazer. That's a honey. Thank you very much, Joe. <laughs> we'll be right back with Casey Musgraves, everybody.